All right, we got a little project today. I got my little cousin's car. This is an 03 Accord, four cylinder. And uh, we got a couple codes. Uh, we're gonna change both front wheel speed sensors and a knock sensor. So in the meantime, we're gonna take the legend uh, to AutoZone and go pick up the parts. And then I'll fill you guys back in. Forgive me, the car's a little dirty. But uh, get it cleaned up when the weather gets nicer out. It's the little sneak peek of a POV. What it looks like to drive this thing with the new wheel. I love the way it feels. A little update for you guys. up to the zone yeah for those that don't know too I work at AutoZone so I got the connect on the parts you know discount and whatnot get anything I need whenever I want it that's how I like it head inside all right so they had the abs sensors but they didn't have the knock sensor so i have to go to another location but in the meantime i'm gonna take a trip to i'm gonna take a trip to uh home depot hopefully they have kerosene because it's cold out here and windy i'm gonna work in my garage but i need some heat for my kerosene heater so uh i'll get back with you guys when we're at autozone i mean uh home depot here we got to park far though they're out on the peasants you know what i mean powerful mirrors on them this thing is dirty it's filthy i know i know i know i know it's ugly it's ugly my favorite she is my favorite she's y'all favorite too all right but let's head up in here and get some kerosene there we go 26.97 for two gallons I wonder how much gasoline it costs to heat this thing if that will even work Ooh. I just had to check out. And we out that quick. In and out in less than five minutes. Alright, now we gotta head to the next auto zone to across town. We gotta head across town to the next auto zone. Uh, but it's gonna be worth it. Because, you know, if you got people that you love, take care of them, look out for them, you know what I mean? Look out for you. It shouldn't be no problem, you know what I mean? Word. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Let me take some pictures. Where you find the rear spoiler? Um, 
got lucky. Well, that one actually I bought off a dude in New York. Oh. Uh, I, that's my second one. My first one came off the highway <laughs> and broke, so I bought another one. Mine broke right here, but I'm fiberglasses. Well, I need someone who can fix mine. Hey, yo, what's your name, bro? Kid John John. John John, look, I'm, ro I'm rolling down, and I see this boy's nice, clean A-spec RL over there. He's sitting in the car, he tell me to pull over. He know what time it is. Real recognized, real. <laughs> yo, you know what else I got that others don't? Hold on a second. Powerful the mirrors. Oh shit! I wired mine that up to means. do that. Yeah, I got them from a Canadian seller, and then um, I wired them up. This shit run the smooth, bro. You actually work on these? Everything I've done is mine. Everything mine, I did. Mine got a terrible misfire. What's wrong with it? What? This, how? I bought it. Oh. A, I don't know if it's a wiring or what, but this is a terrible misfire. Have, have you checked it out? Um, I think it's one of my injectors. I'm not sure. All right. Time to get this joint out. Gotta make space. I couldn't tell, I like the POV thing. I really do like the POV. Kind of point of view. need to be getting copywritten. This car right here, this thing's super, super luxurious. Everything you touch, power operator, like even this uh, rear view mirror. That's what a button down there. It's pretty cool. And uh, it's Memory seats too, like memory mirror. Everything is just dope. 1994 with 100,403 miles. Barely broken in. I got this check engine light though. I don't have anything to scan that with because this is pre OBD2, but that's a video for another day. In the meanwhile, I'll pull this thing out and uh, get the Accord up in here. Yeah, peep that. That's probably my favorite feature. Soft closed doors. One more time. Yeah. Same thing with the trunk. Push the button. Handle pop out. And time to close. And the handle goes away. Stay tuned for this joint too. VIP build. All right, I started this side of the ABS sensor. Of course, jack the wheel up, jack the car up, take the wheel off. Um, this little kind of grommet you want to pull out. It's plastic. On the other side is a yellow plug. Right there. That's going to be hard to reach, so I recommend getting a flathead and popping the uh, connector from the wall so that you can pull it through the wheel well and unplug it. Let me try that. All right, popped it off. Now this yellow connector can uh, pull through the wheel well and make things so much easier. Now it can reach. Then do your part and unplug it like this. And then there's going to be 10 millimeter bolts that hold these, uh, the rest of the ABS sensor in like a bracket. So it's one there, one ten, two tens, uh, and then the, uh, this third one right here, third ten right there. Once I take those off, I'll join right back. All right, so 
Sensors uh, kind of stuck in there, so I'm gonna spray some WD-40. Well, there's sad news. This job just turned into an all day affair. The end of the ABS sensor broke off in the hub. So, now what? Let's see what we do next. All right, I'm back with good news. I got the new sensor in, in the hub. I had to use a bunch of different drill bits so I step my way up to a uh, M10 and uh, basically just shredded all that old uh, plastic from the old uh, ABS sensor out so that I can get the new one in. So let's keep it pushing. All the bolts that we just took out for the bracket, put them back in and plug the new sensor in and you're done. On this side, it's the passenger side. Hopefully the driver side goes just as easy. Well, I go onto the driver's side and look here. Someone's been here before, because it was already broke. Someone already tried to get it out, so I'm gonna have a good time trying to get it out myself. All right, to get to the knock sensor, we're gonna take this upper half of the intake manifold off. One, two, three, four. And there's a fifth bolt down there. Want to remove anything that's in your way. These are 12 millimeters, mix of 10 and 12s, and move any uh, vacuum line that's in your way, like this here, this here, any connector, because the knock sensor is just behind there. You can't see it. Try to point it. See that black connector right there? That's the knock sensor. All right, and takes off. Wanna. See down there, right there. Zoom in, right here. I'm gonna unplug this knock sensor. Unplug, and then to get it off, it's a 27 mil socket. I'll take this off. Put that down there. Loosen it, and then you spin it off. Old one's out, and then, as always, you wanna take the new one, uh, start threading it in by hand, and then just hand tight, not too tight, because if you do it, you're gonna snap it, and then you're gonna be in a world of trouble. So just hand tight with the socket. I would start it with my hand and then get the socket and twist the rest by hand and then give it a slight little you know hand tight turn with the ratchet and then put everything back in reverse order and then we're all done for today all right here's the test first start and look at that no lights no lights at all before we had a check engine light ABS and uh, VSA, I mean, um, and SRS. Now, nothing with the change of two ABS sensors and a knock sensor. And we're all good now. Well, well, y'all, as always, I appreciate y'all staying tuned and I'm sure this is gonna be a long video, but I appreciate y'all, you know, paying attention and, you know, riding out with me, showing your support. Um, I really do and stay tuned for the next video. Always got something nice to offer you guys and that's about it. Peace out.